Hi, welcome to Coding Topic. In this video, I will teach you how to enable and use attribute routing in an ASP.NET MVC application with C Sharp. By the way, this solution project I'm using was created in my previous video. I will put the link in the description box. So let's get started. By demonstrating what the URL looks like without using attribute routing, I will run this project. And click these tabs to show that these URLs don't look professional. I will also type a non existent page in the address bar. And you will see that the page not found. URL also doesn't look professional. We will then work on making this URLs look professional. Now I will close this browser. So the first step is to enable attribute routing. So I will open this folder, app start. Then I will open this file, route routeconfig.cs and in this line of code line number 15 I will type here route that map map MBC attribute routes and then I will click this button save all then the next step is to open the controllers file so I will click this this solution explorer then I will op I will open this folder controllers. Then I will open this file home controller. Then here in this file, I will use route prefix for this controller. You can name this whatever you want, but for this example, I will leave it as an empty string. And I will proceed in this action action result method called index and in this action method I will use route class then you can also name this whatever you want but for this example I will also leave this as an empty string and here in about action method I will name it as about then here in this action method contact I will name it as contact and here in this action method page not found I will name this as page dash not dash found and also I will put HTTP some action verbs here so I will run this project so now I will test it so I will click this about about tab so right now we can see that the attribute routing is now working so if I I will click this contact tab so it's it it's also working and if I will try to type here the page that does not exist oh I got an error oh I forgot I forgot to change the web config file so I will minimize this browser then I will stop debugging here then I will click this solution explorer then I will open this file web.config then here in this line of code I will change this to to this and I will 
remove this and I will go back to home controller and I will copy this line and I will go back to web.config and I will paste this line then I will start the project again then I will test this again uh, contact slash ASD and now it's working so that's it I hope you learned something from this video thank you for watching subscribe to this channel for more videos